Hello, I'm Julia Heine and I'm from the University of Copenhagen. I'm standing here on a record of what the environment in Mauritius used to look like 12,000 years ago. What we're finding is that the environment used to look very different. It used to be covered in pandanus trees and other large trees like the tamalakok, the dodo tree. And it was actually a wet forest. But now it's a dry sort of swamp area with sugarcane. It, it was very different. So it used to be covered in giant tortoises. They were roaming around here, quite numerous. And we're finding all these animals that are now extinct today. Among them are the dodo and giant skinks and other animals. And we're trying to work out what Mauritius used to look like before uh, the first humans arrived. Hi, I'm Julian Hume and I'm here as a paleontologist working on this incredible fossil site. We know it's 12,000 years old and we're excavating down to try and find bones and also trying to find the plant remains so we can identify the forest that was once here 12,000 years ago. At this stage we've got lots of people excavating, bringing up sediment, we're sieving everything and we're finding some wonderful things. Let's see what happens next. This pit here has proved to be the best one of all. It's incredibly rich in fossil bones. And if we look down here, all these are bones in situ. In other words, they're in the place where they died, where the animal died. So this is very important. And we're looking on the top of them to see how they're laying out. And once we know the animals, we then can work out the deposition environment. How did those bones get there? Well, they are embedded in this very light colored limey layer and that was very important for the preservation of the bones. And if you look just over here, this dark organic clay is devoid of bones. So there was some event that happened to bring these bones in once this first layer had been laid down. And that's what we're trying to work out at the moment. <laughs> 